people play sports, and a lot of people, everyone's about stepping their game up. They work on running, they work on lifting, they do everything they can physically to help their game. But what a lot of people miss is the mental side of it. And I'm going to tell you how to approach the game mentally, and this is also can be applied to life. First thing I want to talk about is focus. When you look, if you take two people, whoever's the most focused and locked in and who can be like that the longest is going to be the most successful, no matter how good the other person is. Whoever can just stay locked in, they're going to be the best. But they like to think of it as like, they think about 20 years down the road, 10 years down the road, that's what they focus on. But really they should be focus, focusing on today, because today is the only day that you can control and it's the most important day. Because when, if you think about it, today plus today plus today equals your season, your career, your life. It's a bunch of today that's just added up, and that's all you can focus on. And, and you need to focus on the process and what you do things and not the end result. Winning and being successful are just byproducts of doing things the right way. And that takes me to hard work. A lot of people... A lot of people think working hard is just like killing yourself in whatever it is you're doing. Studying for 10 hours, running unlimited sprints, doing whatever it is that you do. But really, you should work smart. Work on your weaknesses. Work on what you're lacking at and so you can get up to where everyone else is. Also, you need to set goals. Goal setting is one of the most important things that anyone can do. But you have to make them attainable. And they can't be too low and they can't be too high or else it's just it's not going to work. And also, you need to do a little, a lot, and not a lot, a little. We, now, mathematically, those are equal. You do a little bit all the time, and you do a lot sometimes, it should equal up. But it doesn't, because when you take a look at confidence, well, first off, confidence is just a daily choice. People think, oh, this guy's just boring confident. No, it's you wake up in the morning, and you choose to be confident, and you, or you choose not to be. But confidence comes from your routine. Basically, like your routines is what you do all the time, and and when when like your routines they become they become consistent. You become consistent in whatever you do all the time. But when you're consistent, you get confident at it, and that equals success. So when talking about confidence, you really need to look at your routine, and that's what you do a lot. That's the little bit that you do a lot. Look at Peyton Manning. He's he's at the line of scrimmage. He's the most confident person on the field. Look at Eli. He looks a little shaken up right now. And I'd rather have him on my team than him. Then there's attitude. Like confidence, it's also a choice you make every day. You, you got to focus on what you want to accomplish, not what you're trying to avoid. Say you're in a baseball game and you come up to bat. You're, you're think, you want to be thinking about hitting the line drive right back at the pitcher, not oh my gosh, I can't, I can't strike out right now. Because then you're just you're going to strike out. And also, as far as attitude, like whenever you're working in the summer, doing whatever you do for your sports, there's always going to be those group of people who are like, oh, this sucks. Like, I can't take any more of this. And you just want to, like, I just want to say to them, like, this sucks compared to what? Yeah, it sucks compared to, like, people who are sitting on a beach right now. But, like, what about people who are starving and people who don't know like what's going to happen in the next two hours and so you gotta look at it like that there's also the people when in reference to practice there's also the people that show up to practice and they say oh I, I got I have to go to practice today I have to do this and then there's the people who say I get to go to practice today and they like they embrace it and those are the people who will be the most successful lastly you gotta visualize success. You have to picture it. Before you do something, you gotta, you gotta picture yourself being great at it. The mind can't tell the difference between what's actually happening and what you're just imagining. 